Nearly 10 years ago, while taking care of my aunt's bed and breakfast in Alaska, I met an unforgettable woman named Lynn. When I asked her what she did in her free time, she said she was a shepherdess. I was instantly intrigued. It turned out that she cared for a few dozen sheep at her home in Oregon. As she shared stories from everyday life among the flock, I couldn't help but notice the spiritual parallels between what she was saying and many biblical passages that referred to sheep. I remember thinking, one day I'm going to write about this. Nearly 10 years later, I managed to track down Lynn, and she invited me and my husband Leif to come and spend time with her and her flock in Oregon. I watched as she called her flock by name, describing each sheep with familiarity. As we sat together in the field among the sheep, I had the opportunity to open up the Bible and discuss many of the nearly 700 scriptures that refer to sheep and shepherds throughout scripture. One of the many things I learned from Lynn was just how intimately a good shepherd knows their sheep. We often think of a sheep knowing their shepherd's voice, but Lynn could often distinguish her sheep by simply listening to their bleats. While all the baas sounded the same to me, Lynn could often tell which sheep was crying out to her without even looking over her shoulder. If Lynn knew her sheep so intimately, how much more does God know you and I? My time with the shepherdess was one of the most rewarding, personally and spiritually, as we dove into questions like, why does God call himself the Good Shepherd? Why did God go out of his way to include shepherds at the birth of Christ? And what is the significance of the sacrificial lamb at Passover? I look forward to taking this journey through Scouting the Divine Book and six-week Bible study with you.